Hi guys, I'm Liang Jing. In this case, what we have here is indices again. And these indices, what you can see is uh, it's about unknowns and some numbers combined together. And so some sometimes you might mix up with uh, algebraic expression, but it's okay. Basically, algebraic expression, some of the questions like you can compare with indices. And, okay, so for this case, right, let me show you. What you can see here is number wise, number wise, they are consider small number because prime number, right? So um, my first thing to you is I will check the bracket where you can see this is bracket with how many base inside. Total there is three. You see that like you have two P and Q over here. So how many base there? Bracket means times. So you will share to them how many times. So I can see here that I'll make this as two square. I'll be writing extra working here. So P two and then Q negative two. Because I did say that bracket is the times, right? But you times the index. And then divide, I will make it over 2p negative 1, q3. Now, so once you have this case, the next thing will be you will compare the base. So when you compare the base, okay, some of you might say, hey, there is a 2 square here, I can make it 4, right? Yeah, it's up to you. But since they are same base, you can actually compare them. But what I'll be doing here is why not, uh, of course, I already say that there is extra working inside. So I'll make it four because it's possible to expand it. I will just make it like this. And then P2, Q, negative two, then over two P, negative one and Q3. Okay, so there is a few sort of like, you can say shortcut, but I'll treat it as a sort of like pattern. Okay, let me show you. I know that everything shows times on top because if let's say you break it out under a specific expression context, right? It's four times p times p, and this one we leave it first. But let me show you like under indices, what can we do? Okay, under indices, I believe you come across to oh, that's water. Okay, so you you can see that under indices that you learned before, you have a negative one equals to one over a n. So remember that. But some of you might say, hey, why is it this way? But let me show you a better way of, not to say understand, but how to convert it easily. We know that this is over one, right? Okay, so if let's say this is over one, basically they are telling you that if you don't like the negative, just switch the position and then you just erase off the negative. So same applies to this case when you get like P and P. If you don't like the negative below, you can just anytime switch them. But before I switch, why not I just simplify this thing? I get my two on top. So I put it here, two on top. And let me show you something. You don't like the negative one, right? You move it to the top and it becomes P1. There is two P on top. There is another P, you move it to the top, you get P3, okay? There is Q3 below, okay? And there is a negative two you don't like. So you move it below, it becomes Q2. And how many Q are there now? So there will be five Q. So that's the answer. It's either you do this way, or some of you might treat your answer as 2P3Q-5. It's okay, it's the same thing. Great.